So the research triangle is made up of Durham, Chapel Hill, and Raleigh, three major cities that are all kind of intersecting. We all kind of intermingle with running on trails like this here at Carolina North. You have the Tobacco Trail, and we also have Homestead. So meeting at those three places, it's opened my eyes to more than just like me and my three friends that I'm able to run with. Pony Run has grown exponentially since we started. We, the past three weeks, have been averaging about 105 people. There's just endless miles, it seems, of single track trails that go throughout the entire area. I live three quarters of a mile to the trailhead to the American Tobacco Trail. Pretty much everything in the city is just old tobacco warehouses, so this apartment that I'm in right now is an old tobacco warehouse, and um, the American Tobacco Trail is just an old uh, railway that took tobacco from the fields to the warehouses. I've been living in Durham for about three months now, and. Um, it's been really cool just getting settled here, meeting a lot of runners in the community. Ran with this guy, we got talking, turns out that he lives literally two doors down. We've been running together on weekends, we hit up the American Tobacco Trail quite a bit. So uh, when I was in college, I was really just looking for whatever job would pay me the most and uh, found my way in with a major corporation. I was in sales and really liked what I was doing, but then a couple years in, I just realized that I'm not really happy with the actual product that I'm selling. So I realized that I wanted to make a change and I'm still young, so whatever I wanted to do next, I wanted to be something that I stick with. But running's always been my outlet and I thought that would be a really cool industry to get into. So I came to my local Fleet Feet where I'd been running and asked for a part-time job on the weekends just to get my foot in the door of the industry. And did that for a while, but then I ran a Detroit Marathon and had a breakthrough time of a sub three hour, which was a huge PR for me. And I just kind of saw that as a sign, just to really go all in. And um, I left my job at the major corporation, joined Fleet Feet, and it's just been a really cool way to kind of take everything that I've experienced in my life and tie it together in one really awesome career. So the great thing about the American Tobacco Trail is it's 22 miles long, so you can cover pretty much any distance that you're looking to run. It's got mile markers along the entire route, um, and most of it's got quarter mile markers, so you know exactly how far you're going. So I'm typically running that uh, probably about three times a week, and then I'll run on Duke campus quite a bit as well. So when I first moved here, um, I did what I learned to do when I was working at the store in Pittsburgh and I reached out to the local Fleet Feet to see where the great places to run are here and what kind of group runs were going on in the city. And I found out about the Ponysaurus run that they do on Thursday nights, which is just a mile away from me. So I'd run there, run five miles with a group, run a mile home after a quick beer. and been a really great way to meet people in a new city. We start where the beer is and we finish where the beer is. We start here at Ponysaurus Brewing and we run through beautiful downtown Durham. Pony Run has grown exponentially since we started. We started with 10 people at the first run. Um, I was here as a participant at the very first run and we, the past three weeks, have been averaging about 105 people. It's a super fun brewery and they came in and they have this fantastic outdoor space, super kid friendly, super dog friendly. So our run is dog and kid friendly as well. There's always a food truck here for us. And uh, we have a lot of fun even in the winter because we run through the winter here. They have uh, bonfires in the winter and we have s'mores as part of the run. I lead the Carborough Pub Run. So this is actually our flagship store. We've been doing the pub run for a few years now, five to 10K, and we have one single route through Chapel Hill and Carborough. The casino's right over here. That's where the pub run takes place. They just opened up a few months ago, once we got our new building. So we moved into this building right here with our corporate office and headquarters right above us. We have 176 stores nationwide, and we try to do some sort of pub run, coffee run out of every single one.
My name is Andy Chang. I'm the operations planning and social media guy here uh, as part of the Fleet Feet Raleigh and Morrisville umbrella. We are nominally part of the Research Triangle Park here, and that's a swath of land that includes the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area. So any time that you're in the Research Triangle Park, the number one trail system that you're going to hear about is Umstead. It is very, very large. Uh, it contains probably 31 unique miles of trails that you don't need to repeat. There's a few reasons why Umstead's great for building strength. You can either run a lot of miles and or run a lot of hills. And the hill parts where Umstead comes really, really big into play. So we do hill repeats on anything from Cemetery Hill up of one mile stretch of very, very long pavement. I run at Umstead probably during the summer four to five times a week. What I like about Umstead is that there's a variety of trails that you can run. Population-wise, when we take a look at the whole area, it's about half a million people, but it is very spread out. So what we do is here is we, we measure everything by time, so it's literally 30 minutes to anywhere that you go. If you happen to live or work out in the Chapel Hill and Carborough area, Carolina North Forest is an excellent place to run, and that's maintained by UNC. Being in Carborough and working at Fleet Feet, it's opened my eyes to a whole running community and we all kind of intermingle with running on trails like this here at Carolina North. The Carolina North is a trail system. There's something in here called the Pumpkin Loop, which is about a two and a half mile loop of just main gravel. And then there's just endless miles, it seems, of single track trails that go throughout the entire area. It's nothing too technical or anything like that. It's just something nice that you can come out here, kind of escape from any kind of cars or even people at times. So I used to skateboard. Uh, I was sponsored by a couple of companies. I was traveling a lot. My dad died whenever I was a freshman in high school. Um, and that was pretty hard on me for a long time. I was pretty angry at the world, it seemed. And then whenever I was a senior in high school, my mom had left me. She left me with my brother, who was an alcoholic, and that was just a really tough time for me. To some degree, uh, skateboarding was an escape. But at the same time, it was a pretty negative environment because I was drinking, I was doing drugs, and just not really becoming the man that I think I am now. I just was on a bad path, for sure. Started running whenever I was a senior in high school due to some friends asked me to play soccer. And in order to play soccer, you had to run cross country, which at the time I didn't really know what it was. Ended up just training with the cross country team and not competing. And then I went out for track, ended up doing pretty well at that. And that was essentially my ticket to college. So that was another door open there for me through running. We ended up moving to North Carolina because my wife's getting her PhD in psychology at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Started working at Fleet Feet Carborough just because I needed a job at the time. Thinking it was just a normal Fleet Feet, turns out it was more than just your average Fleet Feet. So being at the corporate headquarters store, it's a little bit different compared to like your traditional kind of running store kind of have to always be on your game. I work 40 hours a week, sometimes a little bit more. I'm running 80 to 90 miles a week, so trying to balance them is pretty hard. I usually get up pretty early. I usually start my runs at seven. So a lot of times we meet at the store, and we usually will run around town, or we will even come out here twice a week to just get in a recovery day. With running for me, it's not like, like yeah, let's go feel good about yourself and stuff like that. It's more of like, a, it allows me to feel pain. Which sounds kind of like nuts, and it's just like running is super painful, running a lot is painful. It's really just my escape from my everyday life, feelings, thoughts, and things like that. And it allows me my own personal time to just reflect and think about where I'm at now, what I've come from, and who I am now.